That's all I got of that one. <laughs> this is one of my favorites around a campfire. This is a little something called Snake in a Cage. adds everything to everything. Everything, 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 everything. <laughs> like a mouse in a cage With a lazy snake my mind begins to try to find a way But I begin to break All the pressures I can't take But well, I know that you can find it to go But you'll never find No one to say you know it's a time So I'll take with every breath I make This world a little every face She don't care Like a fat kid Charge with a whole damn snake Mind begins to try to find a way But I begin to break All the pieces I can't take Well, all I know Is you can find your goal But you'll never find No other cell, you know it's a time So I'll take with every breath I make This world A little bit of pace But you don't care This world A little bit of pace But you don't care This world A little bit of pace But you don't care Like a mouse in a cage With a lazy snake my mind begins to try to find a way But I begin to break yeah. Oh, the verses I can't take Well, I know that you can die and it should go But you'll never find No one to tell you no know it's your time So I'll take with every breath I make This world a little bit of race That you don't care Uh <laughs> That's that one. <clears throat> there's been a lot, lot of, uh, I know you can't tell by looking at me, but there's been a lot of lonely nights on streets. <laughs> so these are some nights in Sacramento that I spent.
remember when we was good, 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 good friends. One and one. That was it all. Oh, but I know there will be a better day when love will come shining down on me again. Oh, no, 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 no. The coyote sings. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ooh, to the moon. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ooh, to the moon. I will remember when. Sings. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ooh, to the moon. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ooh, ooh, motherfucking to the moon. Goes out to all my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> I hope some of you, some of you broads are watching. Some of you sweet women are watching. I love you. Thank you for taking care of me. I said your love is just like cold pizza. kind of meter. Oh, 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 oh,
I said you got all of them cheeses, mama. But you ain't got no kind of meat up. Thank you. Check me out on Facebook and all them other spots, you know. Reverb Nation. Support. Much love. Don't tell me this town ain't got no heart. them what? Oh, something important happened during that last act. <laughs> Sorry, I do. Very good. We're, we've now raised uh, $3,000, thanks to all of you. <laughs> Woohoo! And the uh, auction is going really well, except I can't understand why you guys don't want to hang with producer Aaron. Is it just that he's too pretty and talented? He's a little intimidating, but he's a really nice guy. So they can watch it anytime online streaming. Anyway. Oh, right. They get the, what? <laughs> It is exciting. It's fun. So you guys should bid on that. Please bid on the KGW. I also think we should mention our sponsor for the hour. Yes, let's do that. Boots and All. Boots and All Travel Network, who came in really early with the sponsorship, and they um, their uh, sponsorship really helped us get some of this stuff off the ground. We were we were running into some incremental costs to pull this thing off, and without their sponsorship, um, this never really would have happened. So please, if you're planning to travel at all. Check out their travel network. They have a, yeah, see, nice, good. Yeah, that should be their jingle or something. The, um, it's all written by bloggers who, who keep up to date on certain areas and, and provide tourist information for you. So it's a really great song. What else have we got? They have I a camera over there now. Look at how well Ooh, we stalled that We did time. that Thank perfectly. You, Aaron. I think we're ready to go After over. After five to... times of him telling us to wait for the camera, we finally did. Well, we learned a better Ooh. way. We, we said, make it go to producer Aaron. Yeah. So anyway, we're ready for Bridget and the Regifters. Here we are. Here we are. Hi, everybody. We're Bridget and the Regifters. I'm Bridget. I'm Bridget Palude. I'm Carol Collymore. And I'm Jill McIntyre. And we're here to talk about things you should not give as Christmas presents. And um, you know what would have been really great if we had made some signs for this? That would have been awesome. Yeah. Maybe we yeah. could get our intern to do it. Megan, Megan, Megan. Signs. Wow, she's good. <laughs> she's so good. Okay. All right, awesome. All right. Well, I'd, start, I'd love to start this conversation okay, because great. I have serious issues with the gift, Christmas gifts I get every year, um, specifically from my mom. So my first rule of thumb for moms out there, no sexy underwear for your daughters. Um, there is many a time, well, a couple of times when Someone has complimented my undergarments, <laughs> and I've said, oh, I got those for my mom. Mom. Oh. Hey, baby. And that's always an awkward Those are some sexy underwear you're wearing. Yeah. 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 Honey, I got these from my mom. Yeah, mm. mom in any kind of bedroom setting mm -hmm. scene. Not okay. Not okay. No. No. That's my, that's my. And the worst is when your mom comments later. So how does this underwear work out for you? Right. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Not good. Mm -mm. Not good. Okay. I'd also mm. like to say uh, no hamburger meat. <laughs> Hamburger meat is not good. I have an uncle who gives those 10 pound hamburger tubes, the ones that are about the size of the baby Jesus, and oh. he wraps them in paper and lays them in a cooler, and then each one of my family members comes up and, and gets their tube, and sometimes, well yeah, they pull it out of the cooler in the paper, and sometimes the paper is, you know, your meat's wrapped in angel, Sometimes oh, your meat is... It's like is, organ delivery. It is. It's exactly like organ delivery, when your organs are wrapped in angels. Nice. Sometimes Aren't it's wrapped in Santa. Donors? Donors or angels? Angels. 
Sometimes it's wrapped in reindeer. It, you, that's the surprise is what it's wrapped in, because if you're at Uncle George's house, you're getting burger meat. Is it ever reindeer meat? No, it's straight up from Fred Meyer. From Fred Meyer. That's another thing not to have. Oh, okay, we'll get to that. Okay. What else? Hey, yours says no on it. No gifts that are real in stamps of goods would be exercise equipment. Not real idea unless you specifically ask for it. Cleaning supplies, dog health books. So like six sessions of counseling. Six sessions of marriage counseling. Whoa, mints. Mints are not good to give as gifts. Like, mm -hmm. here's some mints for you because you need them gum. I was thinking it would be uh, pretty horrible to have a boyfriend with a messy house and you thought you would give him a book, Clear Your Clutter. Yeah. Hoping that would change things. That would do right. it, yeah. Like, kiss that marriage proposal goodbye. Yeah. Right. yeah. No merry maids. No merry maids. No, no Grey's Anatomy guide to the female situation. <laughs> None of that. Okay? No hints. No hints. Done with the hints. Okay. Also, no lottery tickets. Oh, why? Why? So I that have... reminds me, I have something for you guys. Oh, oh thank thanks, you. Thanks, Jill. You know, that's awesome. Fill it out and Quick give thanks. it back to me, and I'll be sure. Yeah. To thanks, get that Jill. In. Yeah, because when you open a card and you're like, oh, a card, maybe it's a check. Maybe, maybe it's a it's check something. for $50. No, no. But it's a quick pick Kino card from another state that you don't live in. <laughs> <laughs> and you scratch it, and it's nothing, and then, and then it's and it over. just says you are not a winner. Right, and then the same joke, right? Like, hoo, 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 if you win, <laughs> cool. okay, we're going to worry about this card. Yeah, yeah, I do expect oh, 10%. Okay, that, yeah, my uncle's from, like, Jersey, right? Yeah. Okay, just make that up. <laughs> okay, 10%. Yeah. Oh, no lottery card. I don't want anything that's work for me. Uh, Kitchen utensils, um, vacuum cleaners. Mm -hmm. Uh, any litter box, the little thing to clean out the litter box, I don't want that as a gift. What about the automatic cat scooper, the one that moves every time the cat poops? Yeah, see, in the box? We, we had that. Yeah. Our dogs thought it was really convenient that everything was in one hand. They eat it? Yeah, they did. Ooh, wow, we reached a, a low point that here. Not a good gift. Not a good no. gift. Kitty Roca, not a good gift. Salad, salad, shooters, salad, shooters, salad shooters, not a good gift. If it's, mm -hmm. if it's work for me, I don't want it on, in my stocking. Done. Okay, yeah. done. Yeah. I, um, Oh, let me switch this one. I think nothing made out of macaroni and glue, but only if you're over t over 10. 10 and under, it's okay. It's sweet. And if you don't have a job, maybe there's a, if you don't have a job a caveat thing. for no job. Caveat for no It'd job. It'd be better just to give the box of macaroni. Yeah, it would be better to just or to get more functional. Or to get Yeah, yeah. Or glue. And glue. Okay. A box of glue, too. Yeah. Fair enough. It's not even okay if it's like spray painted gold or silver. No. no, just no, 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 no crafty, no. no. And so I say no gift cards because that means you are thoughtless and lazy. It means you did all your shopping at Safeway. Exactly. On yeah. the one kiosk that has all the gift cards, That's that is where convenient. you spent your time. I'd like to buy something for Carol Collymore. Oh, well, this Applebee's card for $20 will do. Mm -hmm. It's not good. No, not good. No. Or for instance, when I used to live in Albuquerque and I got a Macy's gift card. And there was no Macy's? No Macy's in Albuquerque. Yeah. Just That's, saying. That's not good. Not okay. And, and. I think people do that because they think that you might get the gift card back to them. Right, oh, I don't have a Macy's in my town, but mm -hmm. I guess you do have it back. So here's a good one. No gifts that are actually for you. Okay? We're all on to you. We're on to you, Brian Oatman, in particular. We're on to you. The darts that you gave me last year for Christmas when I had <laughs> never played darts before, come on. We know who those were for. You're getting called out on, on the streaming TV. Right. Yeah. No bowling yeah, balls. No bowling balls. No, no spear fishing things. You know, like the things that shoot spears into fish. I don't see a need for that. So if it's got my name on it, you're not going to be using it at least. Wow, I Black sound bitter. Decker. Black and Decker nuts and bolts. Yeah, a little, little, a little bit bitter. Little bitter. Yeah. Yeah. It gives me good stuff too. But yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, no matching sweaters. I have a friend who once gave um, matching sweaters to. Her sons, her boyfriend, and her dogs. I'm not quite sure of the message she was trying to send on that one, but plus I think it'd be really hard to get them to match. I mean, how could you pick something out that the dogs would like and your boyfriend? Dogs only like bad. their balls. They don't want a sweater. They don't they, want a they sweater. They don't even know what it looks like. 
I even, I gotta admit, I even got one for the cat. I was like, was that you? I couldn't remember. <laughs> it was me. Two hundred dollars of lambs and sweaters. I got one for the cat, and he <laughs> abruptly ran outside with it and took it off and came back in. Like, I'm not wearing your friggin' sweater, lady. Because it's, so. it's yeah. They look cute. Not okay. You okay. can't even not okay. Card. And speaking All right. of cats, nothing alive, please. No gifts that are alive. No puppies. No kitties. No fish. No fish. No dead rats. No, no dead rats. rats. Nothing. Nothing don't, alive. Because... Don't bring a man home for your perennially no. single sister. No. <laughs> None it's of that. It's too much pressure. It's too much pressure. The person did not get to pick out their own man or cat. Or cat. It's no. Not okay. No. Don't it's bring not okay. It. I don't it's want not, it. No. I will tell you this year if you bring me a kitty. Okay. It kind of falls into line with the self-help too. I mean, if you bring a man home for somebody else. What are you saying? Yeah. You're yeah. saying that person get a life. needs a man. Get a life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not giving anybody men this year. I got the hit. Okay. I could take one though. I mean, I might. Yeah. Okay, go on. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Go ahead. Okay, um, nothing dead. Nothing dead. I know a guy who found a rare dead bird by the side of the road and took it and gave it to his girlfriend um, and said, This reminds me of our love. And she was like, What? What do I do with this? And so she put it in the in the freezer, and her dad, who's also also an ornithologist, found it and went, oh, this is so amazing. And she said, yeah, um, the boyfriend said, this reminds him of our love. And she said, and he said, oh, that's just fantastic. Um, they're no longer together. Um, so I think it's a dead love or, rather than rare. A rare love. Yeah, I think she love. took it for a dead. Which, which I think most people would. Look at it. How did he know it was rare already? He was walking step. by. He was walking. He was walking by. I think he should have got Xanax for Christmas. I think Just Xanax saying. for Christmas is maybe good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna what, Jill? What uh, do you um, not like? Well, I, I prefer. I, well, I think along the lines of the nothing dead, nothing alive was. At first, no medical tests made the list, but um, we decided that in. You know, today when medical equipment is just so terribly expensive that whatever you can get is good. So we switched it to no pregnancy tests. No pregnancy tests. No used pregnancy tests. Right. So no, no. you that surprise. Yeah, not on Christmas. Not on Christmas. If you and, don't know and, what the and, reaction is going to be, do not put it in the box. And, and if you're going to buy somebody a pregnancy test, don't get it at the dollar store. And, well, and here's the thing. Don't take a pregnancy test before Christmas because you want a drink. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Oh my God, you're so right. I, I mean, come on. Wow. So I'm putting. Days. Well, I'm gonna put that test off for another week. At least. Let's <laughs> go get hammered. Fetal alcohol syndrome, be damned. Seriously. And no homemade coupon books. You know, I got in a lot of trouble today for for mentioning that well, to you my know, partner. Well, I don't want a coupon for a hug. You should just be getting a hug, right? Right. A free. I should I'll, not I'll have the to floor say, for you. Don't you here's live here a friggin' sweep coupon. The floor. Give me a hug. Right. Tiger right. Woods. Tiger no forgiveness <laughs> coupon. Tiger Woods totally needs a coupon book for Elon. I'm sorry. Here's, 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 here's the whole book. Here's a no fight coupon. coupon. Mm -hmm. There's a couple left over, but just take them. Here, I thought that other woman was you coupon. <laughs> I was drunk. Coupon. I was drunk. I thought I was texting you saying you, yeah. I'll mm -hmm. even Next take out the garbage without asking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No coupon yeah. books. No coupon books. Unless you're a child and that's okay and you color it in class. Right. If you're under 10. But if you have no children, clean the house. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just do it. I, I got to say no thoughtless spandex. If you don't know the person well enough to know whether they want spandex or not, don't buy them spandex. Especially or at least don't use buy them all over spandex. You know, right, like focus on an suit. area. Like a spandex bodysuit, it ain't good. There's very few people that that would work. Sizing would is very that. important on that one. Yeah. Yes. That yeah. just looks, right? Like nobody looks cute in spandex. Can we just say that? Yeah, I think we very can say that. Very few people. Especially shiny spandex. Especially bike truck spandex. I'm sorry, I'm Portland sorry. bikers. Portland bikers. But I don't want to see your life out go. junk. I don't want that for Christmas. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Dear Portland bikers, one day without your junk. We can tell the question in there. We can we? It. We see Not it. It's a secret because it's black. Okay, okay. okay. What, what's our next one, Jill? Nothing from late night infomercials. No gifts from there. Um, what about a bump it? Bump it. I don't know the bump <laughs> If you can buy it at Walgreens or on TV? No. Mm -mm. No. So what are you thinking? You're thinking... Well, today I did see a vacuum sweeper, which is basically a um, 1995 high-end dust 
duster, like, like a, a duster. swiffer, like a fancy. Well, no, no, you have to actually sweep with it, but it just stands there so the dust pan, like oh. it sucks up. You don't have to actually hold the dust pan. Oh. So you know, people have to like, it's about this big. That's ingenious. It's kind of a big space. Thing. You know, I um, thought the magic bullet was totally something else. I thought the magic bullet was something else too. What is up with that? Maybe they bang on it? I can imagine what the magic bullet <laughs> I'm just saying. is about. It's not that. It's Last time I checked, it wasn't exactly for chopping not, anything. Oh, oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've okay. Um, Y'all are really blowing it up back there. At home Botox. Kit. We're being really interesting to the crowd. Can you tell that by how much they're murmuring? Those are murmurs of enjoyment. Nobody listening to right. us? So, no regifting. I do not want your old crystal bowl from your wedding that and you never And if you're going to regift, take the other tag off. Right. Make sure your friend has never seen it. Yeah. Make sure your friend didn't give it to you. Or admit it in the first place. Yeah. Like, I got some shit I didn't want. Yeah. yeah but I figured I you could that, have it. I don't want that clapper from the infomercial back. No. 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 I don't want the snaggy bag. I it out. I don't like back. mean political gifts. Like Sarah Palin's new book? I don't want Sarah Palin's new book. I don't want anything with an elephant on it. I don't want anything to, that came from John McCain. I just don't want it. And you know, I'm not going to give any any conservative like a Barack Obama book set. They or might the need Barack it, Obama but I'm not giving pet? it to them. You're not giving him the Barack no. Obama chia. No, I Barack Obama chia pet. pet. No. <laughs> Did we make um, a concession for the the starlet chia Christmas? Mm -mm. Yeah, because that's not political. Mm -mm. Right. Is it? No, and it's cool. No chia cool. pets. No chia pets um, at all. Chia pets. Okay. There. No. Okay. Um, they should make a chia cross. Chia cross. <laughs> ch ch it ch grows chia. here just right here. My father makes chia better than your father. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, incense. Incense. Chia. Incense. See, we're on it. All right. Okay, Jill, you're next. I am next. Yeah. Uh, this one is really important. Know your friend's addictions and do not enable them. A bottle of wine is always good as a gift unless the person is an alcoholic. Right. Wine, yeah, by the way, alcohol. Wine is alcohol. Yes. Yeah, oh, wine. I know you had a little problem with vodka, but here's it's, some wine. You can handle the wine. This is ceremonial. No. Mm -mm. It's just Christmas. Right, there's just bubbles in it. It's wine. It. And it seems really obvious, but I don't think it is. Yeah, no. a lot of people yeah. don't know this. I made right. that mistake of cocaine last year, and I'm not doing it this year. Just because you're in a safe space doesn't mean you blow a line. That's <laughs> yeah, just it's the rules. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Megan. I, I didn't believe you were going to snort it off of that, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> right. Okay. It's okay. And so also, while you're not feeding anyone else's addictions, you're also not buying porn. Because if you wrap it and forget and bring it to the family gift exchange, it's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. It's terrible. Like, especially for Secret Santa. Oh, because okay. that's a big secret. You that's do not want to open and up. Especially if it's a family secret Santa. Because you're saying, I I know what you like, mm -hmm. porn wise, and I bought it for you. Mm -hmm. Don't well, open it here. That, no. That's a hard one, though, to actually know what somebody would want. Well, it's you should. Very just, it's, just, it's just not okay. It's just not okay. No mm -hmm. porn. I don't need big jugs from Texas <laughs> you're fine. under my tree. Well, yeah. But I don't need to see it also. That, that'd be a good one. No plastic surgery. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't or give me a coupon. That's, I think that that's goes a under homemade coupon, a homemade coupon. A free nose. Or a hint. Or something that's really for you and oh not me. Oh my god, that's <laughs> so, so many, many things. Categories. Okay, yeah. I'm putting the liposuction back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, here's one. No fundraising calendars. Except for of really sexy people, that may be okay. But like, as long as it's not porn. As long as it's not Unless porn. it's the naked firemen that are really hot. I'm oh, okay yeah. with that too. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of the ones that are like of the Hillsborough Library Committee. And it's like women who are 60 going, hee hee, I've got a book in front of my buttocks. Those books? <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> like that movie Calendar Girls. <laughs> What do you really do with them? Do you hang them in your Nothing. Kitchen? You recycle them. The you re-gift them. <laughs> you gift them. But you can't wait a year because then it's, then it's, it's doubly done. Yeah. <laughs> no. you got to split that one pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, what, what do we got? Well, is this our final? I think yeah. it's our final We're offer. Out of time. We're running um, out of time. Okay, our final one is no pretending that you donated to a charity and didn't really. And if you just give a card, you just say, yeah, I gave, I gave $40 to 30-hour day on your behalf, and here's a 50-cent card. Don't do that. We don't that believe you. Now can work. We'll karma. And karma. Yeah. So instead, donate to 30 hour day, donate a lot of money, and then still give that card. Yeah. And then, but keep know. the receipt and put the receipt in the card so we believe you. Yeah. Yeah. Because nobody's in buying it anymore. In this case, it's not the thought that counts. It's no, not. it's not the thought that counts. It's the people that need it. Okay. <laughs>
And with that, with that snappy comment from our from our intern Megan, we're done. This is Bridget and Richards. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
I don't think this gets really set up yet, but uh, I'm here. Maybe Santa Claus is coming to town. I don't know. Yeah, Cole. Do you? Come on, come on over. Tell tell Santa what you what you'd like. Santa Rick, I would like a pony. Uh, a super hot cowboy. No. Cole. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, come on, come on. Let's get the let's get through this. Santa Rick. Yeah, yes. I would like long, blonde, beautiful hair. Cole. Oh, Cole. Oh, it's gonna be hard for me to give you coal, but come on, kiddo. Santa Rick. Yes. I wish for you to grow a full beard. Rude. Coal. I shaved for this whole thing. You guys? Okay, okay. Come on, young kid. Come on over here. Hi, Santa Rick. Hello. I wish for Whiffy's pies for life. Oh, that's a really, really good wish, but I'm going to just have to give you coal. Oh. But try, try again next year. <laughs> Don't cry, little boy. It will be fine. Come along, come along. We haven't got all day. Hi, Santa Rick. Hello. I love everyone and never argue with anyone. Yes, Betsy. Wait a second. That, that's what I do. Right, Santa. right. Okay. I wish for everyone to have the same world peace that I do have. How about everybody gets coal? Coal all around. For all y'all, coal. All right, come on, come on. Maybe you'll convince me. Hi, Santa Ricky. Hello. I oh, wanna... see, you call me Rick Cole. Get I, I, no, 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 no Ricky. I, I want to do this thing all over again next year, but I want to get paid $60 an hour, please. You're definitely getting coal uh, for even suggesting we do this thing all over again. Come on, come on, hurry. God, we got a lot of you, don't we? I know. I would like a baby t-shirt. I can almost do that for you because there's a huge pile of them for you. but. I know, I Cool. No, no. Thanks, though. Come on back next year when Robin's going to be running this thing again. Come on, come on, come on. Hi, Santa. Hello. You know what I want for Christmas? I, I can't even begin to guess. For two years, I've been trying to move to Portland. I yeah? To move to Portland. Well, how can I turn down that one? Yeah. All right, I'll give you that, but you got to take some coal, too. I'll take the coal and put it in my fireplace. All right, there we go. Yeah. You got it. Thank you, Santa. The more people in Portland, the better. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kids. Santa Rick? Yes. Megan Kate would like That looks like the same berry. kid. No, no, but I, I like some vodka. No, coal. Oh, you guys are now cycling through the line again and again. That's not fair. Oh, yeah. Come on, kid. Whiffies, I know. La, 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 la. Santa Rick. Actually, I'm not wanting to do pies for myself, but for my friends so we can have a really cool no, no, no. Not until you're the mayor of the North Pole. Cole, go. Uh, you again. How about instead of a bacon t-shirt, just some bacon? I think there might be some left over, actually. So I might, it, But it might be burnt to coal. Gone. All right. Finally, Ms. Chaos. Hello, Cammie. How are you? Great. This suit is super hot, though. I only really want one thing for Christmas, Santa Rick. Okay, and what would that be? I hope I like what you know. Oh, you got that one? Yeah. I'd like this whole thing to be over. I think we're very close. The variety show is almost over, and then just a few more hours, and you will get your wish. Thank you, Santa Rick. You're Thank welcome. You so Yay. All right. Okay. That's enough for bad acting with Santa suits. We'll catch you next week when I play Baby New Year <laughs> in a diaper. Okay, why don't we let why don't we let Santa Rick get go out ahead of and go get out of his okay, costume? Let's make sure that bad boy. Oh yes, no no problem, Santa Rick. Oh, we're <laughs> stretching it. Who knew? We've got three minutes. I'm sure we've got some something to roll. No, we have something to roll. No, we've got nothing. I can't hear you. It was so convincing. We've already rolled the Scott sketch. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Does, it, does someone want to roll name, uh, name, name? I'm tired. I'm ready. I tried to roll that earlier. I got a big no, no, no. Can we roll? Can we roll the ignite video? Liz's ignite video? Can we roll anything? Can we just?
love of God, put something on the screen. It's not me. I mean, hi. I like myself and all, but I've been on camera for a long time now. I'm just saying. No, you don't want me to do that. Really, you don't. No. That's not a good idea. I might threaten to sing at the very end. I can talk with you. You want a mic? I can come stand by the piano with you. We can have a conversation. Here we go. You might want to. You want me to like? I have, you do whatever you want, babe. I'm supposed to like get play and talk at the same. Yes. It's, it's walking and chewing gum. I can do that. <laughs> I cannot sing or play the piano though. Besides that, if I stand here with the microphone, I look like I'm doing something. It's helpful. I don't sing this song. Mom. You could dress up like Santa. We could have people come and sit on your lap. It would be really comfortable, I'm sure. Rick seemed to love the suit. Really, this is what passes for content for you guys? Oh, look, Santas. Someone come look out the window. Look at all the Santas. I'm serious. Someone get a camera over by the window. They're, they're leaving. You're never going to see this. play nice pretty songs. Let's get our money's worth with producer Aaron here. I'm worth every penny. Yes, you are. You certainly are. No. We don't want me to do that, trust me. Oh, it's a weepy Christmas song. Let me write that down. No, not until Rick does. I'm not crying until Rick cries. I know, I'm gonna have to. <gasps> Santa Rick! You're not going near a camera. You're not going near a camera with all my clothes? No, do like Zoom. I can't fix it with your hands. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're adorable. You are so cute. I am so cute. Yes, please. What? There's just like one piece of hair. Going. It's a lot of hair. No, it's like, thank you. Woo! Hi, we're back. Fantastic how that works. Cammy gets a costume change, but I don't. You, you had your fair share of costume ah, oh, issues in the last right. few minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to forgive the... What went on while I was in the restroom? I don't know what you're talking about. Some creepy guy in a big <laughs> Some old Some creepy seat, guy with, with a huge, with a huge bosom out. instead of a belly yeah. came out. It was kind of weird and creepy for the kids. And, That's know, all right. Hung out with him. We should have done the non-family friendly it, warning was, before that one came out. I thought it was you, so. actually. I thought it was you in a costume. Me? And I sat on no, his lap. No, I was out yeah. somewhere doing something. Really Did upset. Santa come by and I missed him? I don't really know that it I was hate Santa when that happens. per se. There's, there are all kinds of Santas wandering. Yeah, there are lots of Santas Santa wandering in the street. Yeah, yeah. SantaCon. Yeah, so they're all kinds nice of wandering. Santa Con, so they're all over the place. I think one of them just wandered in off the street. That probably. They have a tendency. But to, hey, it's the production nice. staff! Yay! He gave, everyone, uh, he gave everyone coal, except for me. I always get what well, I want. Of course. I heard your dad got something too. Well, I don't know how I heard that. Yeah. But <laughs> my dad, Santa may, tells my me dad may have not gotten just coal. He got, got a little bit. Got a little bit of. Maybe it's just my family that. <laughs> maybe it's the chaos. The, <laughs> the chaos, chaos clan was so good. People can't this say year, no to. We were really good. 
very charming really, the very whole lot of you <laughs> i think it's just because you know yeah something i don't know so we're not allowed to throw to a video we're not allowed to throw to a video we just need We've to ham it up we've abused aaron no no i'm still here aaron we can't ask you to play yet another tune because we're going to ask you to do that in a few minutes Dr. Normal's, Dr. Normal's making motions. Making motions like what? Like know, you're screwed and people. in the last several hours you're just going to keep talking? Yeah. People haven't had enough of you for 30 hours. Just keep going. What? Video? People taking something that's really important to them and describing it to the greater world so that others have an understanding of it. Each presenter gets five minutes, they get 20 slides, and their slides auto advance every 15 seconds. We string everything together and we have sort of a MC list, train has left the station and doesn't stop model where each speaker gets up there and they hand the microphone to the next speaker. There's only a 15 second transition between each of the different speakers. And it just goes from beginning to end and then we do a quick intermission and then we um, do a second set and then everything just flows kind of automatically. And it's a really interesting format to present in because since you have no control over your slides, you have to really have your timing down. Legion of Tech is the organization that runs Ignite Portland and we try to put together events that are going to be interesting for the Portland technology community. And what we found with Ignite is that it's a bunch of people in the technology industry presenting on their side projects. So we have people like Selena Deckelman, who's a database consultant presenting about the chickens in her backyard. Um, Mike McClure just presented at this last one and he's um, an information technology guy and he presented about how you can roast coffee in your own house using various household tools like popcorn makers. So it was, um, it's really interesting to get these people whose jobs and whose life revolve around technology, but we get them presenting about the topics that they are so passionate about, but that aren't what they do for work. And so I think that what it's done is it's helped the Portland technology community really get together in a way that they haven't before. So it's not around a specific technology, and you get people from all sorts of different uh, groups within Portland, whether it's the technology community, the creative industries, and then other people who have just fallen in love with the format. And you get all of those people together in one place to learn from each other. And I think it's it's been really fantastic. Ignite Portland started in the fall of 2007. Um, up in Seattle, I was at the Gnomedex conference and they showed some talks from Ignite Seattle. And I thought, wow, this is a really cool idea. So. I, uh, I tweeted about it and some people got involved and got a domain name and within just a couple of weeks we had plans for Ignite Portland which happened in uh, November of 2007 if I recall correctly. We do it about three times a year. Uh, quarterly was a little too much uh, but we figured three times a year was a pretty good pace. We also uh, we ended up forming a, a nonprofit organization called Legion of Tech. We also organize uh, the Bar Camp Portland events and some other events and uh, we, we try to space the Ignite events around those others so that we don't all get burned out on planning events. We're all volunteers, so we try to be gentle to each other. My favorite part about Ignite is tonight. I love sitting back and actually just watching the talks. It's great to see the energy and the effort and the creativity that people put into them. And we, in the beginning, we decided our mantra for Ignite Portland would be share burning ideas. And it really comes through that these are the things that keep people up at night. This is the stuff that people would do for jobs if they didn't get paid because they really love it. And that's the kind of talks we try to find. And uh, we have 19 of them tonight, and I can't wait to see them. So this is my story. I decided to talk about what I know. I was in a fringe religious group some might refer to as a cult from the time I was 15 years old until I was 25. What's that like? <laughs> but it's, it's great. It's a five-minute talk on how I used karaoke to keep from being like the shy guy that I grew up to be, you know, wanting to deal with computers more than I wanted to deal with humans. Hey, Timothy Roger, someday we'll find it the rainbow. I 
believe I want to be a human systems analyst. And I've been trying to figure out what people are doing ever since. And that's what anthrodynamics is. It's the study of human action. It asks, what are people doing? The first axiom, most people don't know what they're doing most of the time. <laughs> person. There are all kinds of dating sites, specialized ones like JDate for Jews, and it's so confusing. And I was once a rank amateur, but I have honed my dating ninja skills. That's right, I am now skilled in the art of espionage and stealth. My name is Brett. I'm here to talk about rural mailboxes. Before there was Twitter, before there were smartphones, email, even faxes, there was mail. Actual pieces of paper that people send to each other, snail mail. And finally, whatever happiness means to you, please go out and go after it. Because life, like bloody epiphanies and ignite presentations, is over sooner than you think. Thank you. It's not something I usually do. And so when I first got up there, and the light shone on my face, I couldn't see anybody. And it that was a little strange. And then I was kind of nervous at first. By the end of it, I was just ecstatic. It was so wonderful to be received.